Breaking news from New Fairfield, where state and local police are investigating after a man admitted to shooting and killing his wife. Police say it happened yesterday about 7 a.m. They say the husband, 63-year-old Robert Bell, called the resident trooper there and said he and his wife were involved in an altercation that ended with him shooting her approximately four times. When officers got there, they found 43-year-old Svetlana Bell on the kitchen floor with apparent gunshot wounds to her chest area. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Mr. Bell faces several charges, including manslaughter, first degree. A family is in mourning in Middletown, where a 15-year-old girl has died this weekend. Police say Kaylin Bassett was hit Friday night in the area of Saybrook Road and Co. Avenue. News 8's Allie Reed spoke with the girl's mom, who is certainly grieving right now. My world crashed. My heart's been ripped out. I want my baby back. I want the person found and held accountable. Her daughter, 15-year-old Kaylin Bassett, was hit and killed by a vehicle on Saybrook Road in Middletown around 5.45 last night. The driver took off, leaving the girl behind. I want witnesses to come forward. What if it was their child? So far, no one has come forward. Police don't know who's responsible, and they haven't provided a description of the vehicle. She was a beautiful 15-year-old girl. The light of my life, my baby. Kaylin was a sophomore in high school in Clinton. Her mother says she was in Middletown visiting friends. The last memory she now has of her daughter is seeing her off to school that morning. I love you and have a great day at school and I'll see you later. And I always gave her a kiss goodbye. This is how I did it every morning. It would be her last kiss to her daughter. How that could be is one of the many questions she's not sure she's ready to ask. I don't know what I want because the more I ask, then it's going to be more real. And I don't want it to be real. I want it to be a nightmare. I want to wake up. I miss her. I want her back. Caitlin went to school about half an hour away in Clinton at Morgan High School there. The superintendent tells us this afternoon a crisis team met to plan ahead for next week. They're going to have a big support system available, counselors on hand to meet with all of the students. He says they're especially focused on those who were in Caitlin's inner circle. Reporting in Middletown, Allie Reed, News 8. And new information this morning about the crash in Bridgeport we told you about yesterday involving three pedestrians. The three included a four-year-old child, all of whom were hit by a pickup truck, and now police tell us the child has died. This is reported video of the scene happening on Boston Avenue near Dover Street. The driver stayed at the scene and no charges have been filed, although police are still investigating. Also in Bridgeport, a man in a motorized wheelchair whom we told you about yesterday is recovering after being hit by an SUV on Park Avenue. This also happened Friday night. Police say he is in critical condition with serious leg injuries. No charges have been filed. State police are investigating a man's death in Marlboro that happened yesterday morning at Salmon River State Forest near Flood Road. A spokesman for the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection says the 43-year-old man was hunting when he suffered an apparent heart attack. An investigation is ongoing, but so far no evidence of foul play. And a sad update now about the Housatonic River rescue in Shelton that happened Friday night. Police say a group of people were aboard a boat when it hit something in the water. That sent one passenger overboard. That passenger, a 55-year-old man from Chaplin, has died. He was pulled from the water and taken to the hospital, but it was too late. His name has not yet been released. And Connecticut has lost one of its most popular broadcasters. Arnold Dean, well known as the Dean of Sports, died at his home yesterday in Rocky Hill. His real name was Arnie D'Angelo, but very few people called him by that. His radio show, WTIC Sports Talk with Arnold Dean, was one of the nation's earliest all-sports call-in shows, and it made him a household name here in Connecticut as Arnold Dean. A man many say was one of the nicest people you could ever meet. Dean was 82 years old. Right now, services for Dean have not yet been announced.